In this video, we'll introduce you to the fundamentals for finding data in the application. We'll take a look at the different modes or activities you can use to find data. That is, the Browse, Analytics, Search and Releases tabs. As we go through these, we'll take a closer look at some of the features that'll help you find your way around the database most efficiently. When looking for data in the application, there are four options for doing so. Depending on what you want to do with the data or what you know about the series, you might go into Browse, Analytics, Search or Releases. The application database can be navigated directly via Browse or Analytics. Browse is good to use if you simply want a quick way to review headline series for different countries and company data, as the selected series are instantly visualized. The analytics activity is the powerhouse of the application. If you start by looking for the data here in analytics, you'll be able to analyze and chart your work in the same workspace. When opening the drop-down menu, you'll see three main entry points to navigate the database, as well as a list of specialized databases that allow you to access the data separately. For each of the three main entry points, the structure is organized according to a different principle. For example, country and region, which is what you'd use if you want to look at a variety of data for a particular country. For finding data from a specific source, choose the source and release view, especially if you're familiar with the way the source organizes its data. If you're looking for one indicator to compare across several countries, unemployment for example, the concept and category view is the place to go. You can also access data from specific sources directly. When you do so, the data will be presented the same way that the source does. Next, let's look at tree filters, bookmarks and favorites. You can use these to customize and organize the data in a way that suits your work and will make finding data much faster. We'll start with a tree filter. This allows you to define and apply filters based on countries and regions. That way, you can limit the data you're shown in the tree to the countries you're interested in, as opposed to having to look through the entire collection. Bookmarks are a great way to keep track of the data categories you're interested in or look at often. What's good about using bookmarks is that you can view the data in a separate, dedicated tab, so it keeps things nice and focused. Favorites are similar but allow you to highlight specific series, rather than branches of the database as you would with bookmarks. There are many benefits to saving series here, but it's especially helpful as a way to highlight the correct series to use in different cases if there are a few similar options in the database. Next, let's have a look at finding data in search using keywords. Using the search tab allows you to get results from all the databases in the application simultaneously, as opposed to searching in the series browser. The application contains many millions of time series, so it's not unlikely that a single keyword relates to multiple series. To get the right results quickly, you can use filters to tailor your search. Filters are based on series attributes such as frequency, region, or source. When you've found a series via search, it can be helpful to view it in a database tree structure, especially if you're interested in related series. That's where Locate in Tree comes in. It's one of the actions you can take when you click on a series. By choosing one of the three views, you'll be able to see where to find the series in that database and take a look at the other data located there. To finish off, we'll take a quick look at the Releases tab, where you can view and monitor data updates from all the sources. Selecting a particular release gives you access to a variety of information and the main indicators included in that release. Filters are also available in this activity to help you refine the results. Now you should have a good idea of the various options for finding data. If you want to learn more about any of these features, have a look at the follow-up videos and articles, or go to the Test Your Skills section to try one of the cases presented there.